today's video, we're gonna be making the perfect peach rib on a pellet grill. That's a lot to say, it is a mouthful, but you're not gonna to wanna to miss these. Juicy, tender, moist, the perfect peach rib. Let's get to cooking. I wanted to take some time and explain to you, a lot of people ask us about these rubs we use on these videos and they go, why does that have a white label? And well, I'm gonna tell you why. It's called the Cosmos Q Lab. It's a private group where we test out brand new rubs every single month. But if you want to uh, join the Q Lab, I highly suggest you do. There's a link down in the description. Click on it, go over there, sign up, make sure you're in the Facebook group. They get a 15 minute jump on every launch that we have every single month. So make sure you get in the Facebook groups. All right, so for these, we are gonna use baby backs. These are some fat baby backs. These are some fat little dudes. We're gonna rub them with our peach rub. We're gonna wrap them with our peach glaze and we're gonna finish them with our peach sauce. I'm not gonna put too, I didn't pull the backs off of them. That was a rookie mistake. Getting in a hurry. That's all right, I caught it. We all make mistakes, but sometimes you get in a hurry. All right, here we go. Ah, oh, it smells good, dude. There we go. That smells damn good. All right, so we got our cooker running at 275. I'm gonna put these on there and cook them till I get a deep mahogany. Once they get that deep mahogany color, we're gonna wrap these with blue butter, brown sugar, and barbecue glaze, and just a little splash of water. So let's get these on the cooker. As you can tell, we got two racks Already nicely wrapped up, ready to roll. Let's get these babies going. I'm gonna put that one on. The old scruncher. Yeah, a lot of people don't know. They'll, they'll, they'll pull their ribs on and they'll pull them out like that and stretch them out. But if you scrunch them up, you're actually gonna get fatter, juicier ribs. In this particular case right here, you know, shorter meat works. Night, night. All right, so we're gonna wrap these ribs and believe you me, I have done this a billion times in competition and you're gonna wanna do it just like this. It makes it super simple, super easy. What we got here is brown sugar, we got our blue squeeze butter and we got some peach jalapeno barbecue glaze. Here's what I do, just pull out a sheet of foil and put a ring. Now make sure, you, what you're doing is you're building a little dam all the way around. Brown sugar. All right, take your glaze, and then this is why you put the butter around the edge. Pour that in there, just like this. While I'm grabbing my ribs, this is gonna start spreading out. You will notice this will try to get off of the aluminum foil onto your countertops, the floors. The ring of butter stops all that. So let's grab our ribs real quick. They're looking good. I'm gonna wrap this one up. a little bit, not too much. Just like that. When you wrap a lot of ribs, you're gonna wanna have a system. And I haven't found a better one than this. Back on the bottom they go. Now we wait, it won't take too much longer. Probably about 45 minutes. Uh, I just tempt these, they are at 202. Time to pull them off, poke a little hole in there. <laughs> oh man, I'll tell you what, I caught that. Perfect. It's not often you get that on camera. That's really hard to do. So we're gonna pull these babies off, put them right here, shut them. Now, from here, this is normally what I do with ribs. I wanna rest them a little bit, but I don't want them to come down and temp too fast. So I'll open up the ends like this. And what it does is it lets the heat escape relatively slowly versus when you open the whole thing up. And what I'm wanting to do is just stop the cooking slowly and start bringing the temp down. So we let our ribs come down 
in temp just oh my gosh look at that Wes look at that we're we'll gonna get some close up footage of that baby that's what I'm talking about so let's flip them over and glaze them gonna get that epic glaze oh yeah look how good they look though now we cut them So, the reason why we turn them over is one, we want to make sure they're cut. And the other reason is, is from the bottom, you can see where the bones are. I am going with the peach habanero on the top. Brush that baby in, oh yeah. That is what I'm talking about. I'm telling you right now, these are good. I have cooked enough ribs, smelt enough ribs. I know these are fantastic ribs. They look amazing. They smell better, but I can tell we nailed the texture on these. I don't even know where to start on this one. Oh my gosh. These are absolutely perfect. Peach from top to bottom. A little bit of kick, a little bit of sweetness, a tiny bit of savory. They're amazing. My God. Well, hey, I want to thank everybody for watching. And if you like this video, head on over to CosmosQ.com forward slash recipes. Print it off and make it for yourself. And uh, I'm going to still be eating ribs. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Dude, these are good, man. You got to try this one. This is, I was going to eat this one, but you need to try this one. That's good. That's what it's supposed to be. This is, this is why this channel is clearly marked for must be 18 years of age. I don't care how good you are. I don't care the shit you see on TikTok. You can't tell where every bone is in every rack. Good, huh? Ah! <laughs>